So what is going on everybody? My name is Mehul and welcome to your 11th TypeScript tutorial in which I'm going to show you what function overloading is in TypeScript and basically why do we need that at all because actually you wouldn't need that if you code really nice indirectly in JavaScript but TypeScript does allow you to just document how your function overloading might look like and if you're coming from background like C++ or Java then you might already know what overloading is but if you don't know that well overloading is like uh, calling a function with different sort of arguments right so overloading is very useful in you know a lot of libraries which are based on the languages and uh, overloading is extensively used in Java and if you just do Android programming then there's an extensive use of overriding functions and then overloading methods of classes and uh, you know mainly in functions which involve like drawing on the canvas or you know other animated functions so there's kind of a lot of use of overloading functions but uh, in JavaScript what happens is that uh, JavaScript is a dynamic type language it's not static type so your compiled JavaScript doesn't know that uh, you want to call this overloaded method instead of the other one so TypeScript what it does is this just pretty much provides you a layer of uh, ensurity that uh, your code which is compiled is properly you know coded you are not calling a function with that particular arguments which you don't have as overloaded so let's just stop it here and just start with our code so let's say I want to create a function with the uh, like area of quadrilateral right so now what could happen is that let's say user can pass sides like uh, just a single digit right so this means that user is probably trying to get the area of square right then what could happen is that user could pass the three the two sides as well which could possibly mean that this is a rectangle and then let's just take another case in which user passes all the four sides right something like this so this would be a trapezium right so you know we are just restricting our example to these three cases you can see that we do not have any call to a third you know a third just three arguments right so what happens right now is that if we create it the normal way then if I call it with three arguments which would be technically invalid for our code but even TypeScript wouldn't show that so overloading just kind of provides a layer of security above that that you don't call a function which is not an overloading definition so how we actually overload a function well to do that what you need to do is you just need to declare this header of this function multiple times right so just say function area of quadrilateral and then let's just say this is side one as number then this could be side one number then side two number right and then finally we could have something like side 3 number and side 4 number now again once you're done with this you actually need to write the main definition of your function and this is the one which would be actually used in your compiled JavaScript code and not all of these things right so right here I'm gonna say the same thing side one number side two number side three number side four number right uh, let's just make them optional okay so now what happens is that we now need to check manually if the side two side three side four was 
you know undefined or not so if side 2 is equal to undefined you can just make use of undefined or like void 0 which was used by your compiled JavaScript it's kind of same and side 3 is equal to undefined you know you can just apply them side 1 is equal to side 2 is equal to side 3 and actually you, you should have rather done that the opposite way so you know that is pretty much how you actually implement this overloading so okay let me just show you that so we have the side 2 is undefined side 3 is undefined and side 4 is undefined then I want the side 2 side 3 to be equal to side 1 because I'm pretty sure that it won't be undefined because it's not optional right and then else if side 3 is undefined and side 4 is undefined as well now this this one right here is our square case right this one right here is our rectangle case right so here what I'm gonna do is say side 3 is equal to um, I don't know side 1 I guess and side 2 is equal to side side 4 I guess side 4 is equal to side 2 I guess okay so now the for the trapezium we already do have all the inputs so now we are ready with all of our sides so if it is like this then I know it is a square then return side 1 times side 2 or actually we should have kept this as perimeter or something so that it makes sense with four sides because for area we just need two sides for rectangle and one side for square but anyways so right here we can just do side one times side two and uh, for trapezium I don't really remember the formula with all four given sides it's actually H A plus B by 2 for the vertical height given but uh, I guess you need to calculate it then if it's not given so let's just return negative 1 for <clears throat> this one for now and uh, if I compile this code well let's see what's happening okay so the build system isn't working right now okay so I restarted the sublime text and looks like it's working now <clears throat> and hit enter and here you can see that uh, it's pretty cool but what the heck I guess the both these codes are same why well, they're same and what the heck is then the use of this overloading well I told you that overloading is just a check on if you are calling your functions properly and it wouldn't reflect in your compiled language compiled JavaScript but it is extremely useful like uh, if you try to call it like area of quadrilateral then one two three it will produce an error if you try to build this one you can clearly see that the supplied parameters do not match any signature of the call target this is because you did not include any definition for the three side overloaded stuff right so even though your third argument is your fourth argument is optional in your main definition but still since you don't have the <clears throat> declaration for three argument functions therefore your compiler the TypeScript compiler shows you the error. so this is pretty handy in the debugging stuff if you are kind of you know you just try to mess around with things and then later on just forget you know how the things were earlier so you know you wouldn't just actually call a function with uh, 
the arguments which you don't want to have actually I don't know what I'm <laughs> speaking right now you know you get the idea that what you have to do well this is how pretty much oval how overloading works and I guess I would just show how overloading works in another tutorial in the interfaces or in classes or whatever we do earlier because uh, in classes it kind of makes much more sense than this one this implementation but it's kind of similar to do so yeah so yeah one more thing is that you cannot have something like this you know it wouldn't work because it kind of confuses TypeScript that uh, your overload signature is kind of matching with this one so you cannot have the same argument number so that's kind of a drawback but uh, you know at least you don't just pass three sides for the area calculation so that is how pretty much function overloading looks like and works in TypeScript and uh, that is all for this tutorial if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching I'll see you then in the next one